Hey Thickies, welcome back to Thick Girls Guide, your official guide for all things fashion, lifestyle, and traveling. And in today's video, I've got a great one for you. It is my travel gadget guide for 2024, the must have items that you need for your next trip. So without further ado, let's jump right in because we have quite a few things on this list. I've been trying some new things out and really excited for this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the Thick Girl Gang, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. guys so let's dive into my favorite travel gadgets of 2024 um, again I've been accumulating these over several months here as I've been trying to plan for a couple different trips and wanted to try some new things out um, so these are all of my current kind of new favorites there's a few in here that I'll talk about that I've talked about before but I am doing a giveaway in this video I haven't done a giveaway in a while so I thought it was definitely time uh, so we'll dive into that a little bit further in the video. So absolutely stay tuned on what you can win in the giveaway and how to enter. So let's dive in to the list. And the first category is packing, beauty, and hygiene. So first up is my set of compression cubes. These are from, I believe it's BagSmart. And I wanted a new set because the other ones I have, honestly, it's super superficial. <laughs> and they're like this red color and I don't like the color of them. So I'm gonna give those to a friend that I'm going to Italy with if she wants them or one of my other friends that may use them. Um, so they'll still get used, but I loved this mauve color and the set popped up when I ordered one other thing. And I love the compression cubes. I don't like packing cubes, just regular ones. I think they're, for me, a waste of time. But the compression cubes I love because it squishes everything down and squishes the air out of all the garments. You can pack more in, um, which me being the overpacker extraordinaire, maybe that's not a good thing i don't know uh, but these are really great quality they have kind of a mesh and then a really durable type of maybe maybe like a polyester i want to say but you kind of put everything in here so i'm going to demonstrate let me scoot over i'm going to put a little video up of me uh, kind of packing the cubes and the whole set so the set is six pieces in total. It comes with one extra large, two large, um, one or two smaller versions or medium really. And then a kind of little laundry bag type of little drawstring bag. Overall, a great set and they are, they're fantastic for organizing your items in the bag. You can pack them by outfit if you want to. You can pack them by, you know, tops or bottoms or whatnot if you want that. But overall, I just personally enjoy the compression aspect of how you load the bag and then you zip it around again so it pushes it all down and gives you the most space possible in your luggage. The next item that I have is this toiletry bag set from Trip, and I do have some stuff in there because I filmed a little video I'll put in here in a second. So this one is a really good quality. Trip is a really well-known brand in the travel industry. Um, great quality stuff. But the reason I ordered this is because this is a heck of a lot smaller than my normal toiletry bag, which is this briefcase. <laughs> so when going to Italy, I need to pack a bit lighter. And if you give me the opportunity to fill that thing up, you can bet your bottom dollar I will. Okay, don't tempt me with a good time. So what I did is I'm limiting myself. So this is, and I'll just put in the video here, but basically it has the kind of hanging 
little hook here so you can hang it just like that large one. I'll link that large one down below as well because it's, it is fantastic. But again, you can fit a ton in it. But this one is much smaller. It's gonna confine you a little bit more, but it does have a little like fold out options and it has like a longer kind of bag for like, you could do hair tools and curling irons. You could actually put even clothing in there as well. Um, you could technically use it as like a shoe bag if you want to for like sandals and kind of thinner, flatter shoes um, also. So a bunch of different usage uses for each of these items. I also like the fact that it comes apart um, where you get the little TSA bag that you can either use for your liquids or you can put more toiletries in that if you needed some extra room, throw it in your luggage. Um, I like how the bottom part unsnaps as well. Um, so you can kind of remove that. So a lot of different things you can do with this bad boy. Also comes in a bunch of other colors. I love that dusty pink color, but it also comes in kind of like um, a gray, a beautiful like aqua blue, comes in black, comes in white. So you've got some different color options. And again, fantastic quality. Okay, now my big one, I'll just show you really quickly. So she zips up. I have featured this on the channel before. Um, again, just also filmed a video of packing it and it's just, it's massive, okay? So <laughs> there we have four different sections and it just kind of folds up. Also has the hanger here, if you can see it. And then it zips up, keeping everything inside and has a handle also a little pocket there in the front and this cute quilted design here comes in black and I think maybe another color or so but this is what I primarily use again she can get really stuffed so we're gonna leave her home for Italy <laughs> uh, but just wanted to show it to you in case you're interested the next thing that I found, these I've been eyeballing for a minute. So these are super cool. So they're, they have a little, little kind of rubber hooky here, but it's just like a little case here. Let me see if it'll focus. Okay, so just like a little case here, and it is a hard cover. And then you pop this little thing out, and it is attached, but in here you can put stuff like all the little things like in your toiletry bag that are just very tiny and you don't want loose. So what I'm gonna use it for is like my hair ties, my little hair clips. It, when I do my bun, it's actually, so it's a regular kind of hair elastic. And then I do the bun part and then I put around the bun to secure it another small, very like small elastic. So I use like two of them and then I have hair clips and bobby pins and stuff like that that you can use, but fantastic for this. Also great for putting jewelry in or small little things you need to organize. You could put Q-tips in there as well. So tons of different uses. This does come in a four pack. I don't know where my little box went, but I got obviously the pink ones, but the other one I have these are ones I haven't used yet, but this is the white one. So I've got two pink and two white. So I got the four pack of those. And overall, they work great. So um, I also like you can hang it on something if you need to. But yeah, highly recommend these too. The next thing that I picked up are these little, I don't know if you can see it. I've got the glare. Okay. These little tied packets. So these are like the perfect amount to hand wash in a sink. Um, so perfect for traveling. So it comes with three little packets and it's like, it's like the liquid detergent, it's not the powder. So three little packets in each one of these. So you could do technically three sink washes um, in your hotel room if needed. So just great to have on hand if you do need to do some laundry when you are on vacation. So I thought these were super smart, um, very thin and light, not gonna take up much room at all. The next couple things have to do with oral hygiene. So the first one are these cute little flossers. So this is a little container that they go in and you just pull one out, clip that back in. There's 48 in each um, little dispenser. 
You can just toss that into your bag, your carry-on, any of those. I love having these little um, picks to, just in case something gets stuck in your teeth, it's super, super annoying. Now, um, this does come with four little colors. So there's a pink one, a teal one, I think a white and a black. So you can put them in kind of your everyday bag as well. But I absolutely love these. Um, or just the little floss picks in general. So if you don't want the little dispenser, but if you don't want the little dispenser, just picking up a pack of these uh, little picks from the dollar store, still a great idea to always have on hand when you're traveling or just for every day. The next thing for oral hygiene are the Colgate Wisps. These are so fantastic. They have, let me pull out one here. So if you can kind of see here, it's like a baby little toothbrush and that little pearl here on the end is like your toothpaste and then it also has like a little pick here on the end so these are super fantastic if you're on like a long flight and you just need to freshen up your you know teeth there they're getting a little furry or your breath is starting to stink this will this little bead will definitely help with that these are also just great to have in your purse for daily use you never know when you're gonna have some furry teeth or something stuck in your teeth and whatnot. So um, I carry these all the time, as well as my little floss picks. The last item that I have for your oral health is actually my toothbrush. I found this, some other influencer recommended it and was talking about how fantastic it is. And so I had been looking for a electric toothbrush, a new one anyway, and of course, I wanted a cute one uh, so she was showing this one which is uh, absolutely fantastic you guys so it's by some like no-name brand okay it's not by like Panasonic or Colgate or whatever um, I don't even remember the brand so it's gonna be linked below but it comes in this little case which for, for traveling purposes is fantastic and then you can put um, a couple different toothbrush heads in there and then you have the body part of it so let me clip the head on here it has five different settings on it let me see if you can and it comes with I think a total of six heads and then it comes with the charger which is a USB plug and then it just sits here and charges the toothbrush. I've had this thing for probably six months so far and I've had to charge it one time. And obviously I use it twice a day. So the battery life on it is insane. So you wouldn't even have to bring this when you're traveling. You just make sure it's charged before you go and then you'll be fine. Um, unless you're gonna be gone for you know about three months, then maybe bring the charger. Okay. So you just, all you do is turn the little button on and there's clean, sensitive, refresh, massage, and then white. I don't know how this is gonna make your teeth whiter, but that's like the regular sensitive is a little bit softer. Refresh is kind of hardcore, like it's like scrubbing. I don't think I've ever tried it on massage or whitening though. So I usually use it on the sensitive um, setting, but this thing, fantastic. And again, for traveling, so easy. You can just bring your regular toothbrush. You don't have to deal with some kind of travel toothbrush thing. So I just thought that was something I wanted to let you guys know about. And then the back also has little holes in it so your toothbrush head can dry out as well if you're kind of moving around from place to place. The next thing I have is the these 10 milliliter little clear vacuum pump bottles and so you can fill it with whatever you need and then it just pumps out a little dispenser so I have one that I have filled up um, but this is just the clear one it also comes um, because obviously the bottle's pretty tiny it also comes with the eyedropper to get product in there as well as a little funnel so it gives you the tools it does come in a pack of 10. I don't know if you can get less than that. I know you, I know it goes up from there. I think I got the minimum. But these are amazing. Obviously, these are clearly under the 3.4 ounces for any kind of liquids limitation. But 
they will save you a ton of space. So instead of you having to bring like your makeup remover, which is what I have in here, and your like facial serums and your facial moisturizer, and they're in these big containers, you can transfer them to here. Obviously probably wanna label it because eventually uh, you're gonna forget which one's which. These make it easy to travel with just the right amount for your trip and not have to bring these huge bulky items. So in this one, I put my favorite makeup remover and pops right out. So that is like probably about the perfect amount. Just you don't need very much at all. This makeup remover I've been using for decades. It is from Avon, right? And I said Avon, I, did, you, I didn't stutter. Um, so if you are looking for a makeup remover that truly works and is incredibly gentle on like around your eye area, but actually gets the mascara off and all of that, order yourself some makeup remover from Avon. It is fantastic. It is one of my like hidden gems. So I wanted to throw that out there. But yeah, these are a lifesaver, save so much space and so much weight, which is so important when traveling. The next two items are my favorite travel mirrors. So this one is a cute little mirror compact. It also lights up and it does change. I don't know if you could tell like the different kind of shades almost. So it does it get brighter? It does, it dims slightly. I don't know if you're seeing that on the camera, but it does dim and all of that. Um, so it's kind of got like a lower, like warmer lighting. And then it has a brighter um, kind of uh, cooler lighting. So I love that there's options, but yeah, you just charge that bad boy up and then you're good to go. Great for that terrible hotel lighting. Also, one of these is this one's magnifying, this one's a regular mirror. I think this is a 3X magnifying. So it helps to get in if you need to see those little like brow hairs and pluck those suckers and all that. So if you need to zoom in on your face, this is great for it. My other mirror that I love is this really flat, also rechargeable light up mirror. Now this one's cool because it has the little kind of stand here. She also, lights up so if you see it light up there and then it also dims this one is much more dramatic dimming abilities and getting bright and then it shuts off so this one is super super good um, doesn't have magnifying capabilities obviously so it's just a regular mirror but this is an absolute must when i travel as well as this one due to the magnifying aspect of that one so I will travel with both of these every single trip I take. Next up, we have this one I mentioned in my original travel gadget video, and I use it even if I'm just going away for the weekend, it doesn't matter. I use this thing like a mother. Um, so this is a makeup brush holder and it is like one of my favorite, favorite things that I've ever bought. And I haven't mentioned it or shown it in a while because I always forget about it because it's just in my regular stuff for when I like, you know, go out of town for like a quick trip or even when I, whenever I travel, this is it. So it's, this is in a different spot than all my other travel stuff because I use it so much. But this, it basically, you see the little elastics around the side here. Those hold your makeup brushes. And then you have the center compartment. You can put stuff like I put my Kabuki brush in there and all that stuff. I don't know what we have in here. Oh, it's my lipstick. The other thing that I love about it is that you fold this part down let me get some brushes. I got some brushes here. Hold on. Shove stuff in here. Okay. So you're, you fold that part down and then this just sits on the counter and all your makeup brushes and whatnot are just sitting here. So super easy when you get your, get to your hotel, you open her up and flip it down and it's all good to go for you. So this thing again, super amazing also has a like vinyl on the inside so super super easy to clean and all of that so this also comes in i think just like a plain black maybe a pink stuff like that different other colors but i got the cute little kind of marbly one here 
This next item is, she's a little over the top, um, <laughs> but it is my Bling Perfume Decanter. And I love how blingy it is. Love bling if you haven't figured that out already. This is kind of a bigger perfume holder. So, hold on, let me put the little case part down. So, your perfume would go in there and then obviously it just pumps out like a normal spray bottle. And then you can just stick the decanter part back in there. Um, and then put the top on. So just really, really cute and adorable. Also comes in pink, you guys. The other perfume bottles that I have tried um, are fantastic. They do hold quite a bit less than this. So they are um, they are amazing. I'll put a picture of them up here. Um, I've definitely used those and love them. And the great thing about these is you can just take the um, top off your perfume bottle and then you can press down on press the bottom down on these and it transfers the liquid into your little perfume container so you don't have to bring your huge like perfume bottles and risk them breaking and all of that fun stuff and both of these are fantastic for travel the last two items in this category are my travel backpacks one of them i have shown before um, it is my Levuk backpack. This is, I love the color of it. It's kind of like a, a gray, almost like got a purple tinge to it with the gold hardware. And it also has the battery outlet here. We can put a power bank in here and then just plug this in so you can easily charge your phone or your iPad, laptops, whatever. On the back here is the little trolley strap. Um, the straps are really padded and very comfortable and then of course you've got your kind of like water bottle area also it has a slit here for someone said it was for like tissues or something and then you can have it come out this area i've never tried it but that's what somebody told me it was for it has of course a bunch of different pockets here i also love the lining it's just like kind of a little striped and then this compartment has quite a few different pockets in it. Then we have the main compartment here, which has the kind of padded laptop area. Also another um, zip compartment on that side. Back here is Another area where you could put, I would probably put my laptop in this back area so it's flat against your back, but has can also some padding in there and then the back is padded as well. And then lastly, I like this little hidden kind of compartment here as well. So you can put something important in there like, you know, passports or documents or credit cards, stuff like that, your wallet. But this one I have used many a times, um, still looks brand new, so incredibly durable. And this is probably one of my favorite bags ever. <laughs> also comes in a bunch of other great colors. So just keep that in mind. So this next backpack I got to thinking, so if I'm going to do something like travel, uh, traveling carry on only, having a secondary personal item, such as a backpack, I don't know why I put it in quotations, but <laughs> um, I don't know, I think of a personal item as like a, like a regular purse, I guess, but you can still have a backpack. Um, and so that's what I would do. But I wanted a kind of a different layout because if I'm going to have to put clothes in it, that one, I mean, it'll work. I've put clothes in it before, but not a lot. Um, but this layout of the backpack, and I'll put in some pictures here of what I'm talking about, but you can unzip it and then it lays flat where it's almost like a mini kind of suitcase. And so that's what I liked about this one. It's a little bit different of a style than the traditional backpack. And I love the color of this because it also matches my luggage. So this is from, um, I think it's Barali, is I think how you say it, Barali, maybe. So this one is, you can tell it's impeccable quality and it's under $50, you guys. Like it's like, I think I, right now it's on sale for like 34 something. And I think that's about what I paid for it. So I thought this was a pretty good deal. And it has, one, it has clips and straps all over this thing, but 
on the side we've got kind of you know the mesh part for the water bottle on the back you can tell it's definitely padded very well we've got the trolley strap you can tuck these straps in back here if you don't want the backpack and then this part will zip zips closed so it's not even there it has a handle on two different sides of it so you can carry it like a little tote bag if you want to has a million different compartments on this thing so this front part here zips open this part opens up um, this lining is super easy to clean it's very much like a vinyl kind of material so if you know i don't know something spills in there it's not going to soak into the fabric and then this is the thing i was talking about this will open and lay flat um, again like a like a mini little suitcase here and there's a bunch of different compartments in here and then on this side you even have the little strap to keep everything wrangled so it's not kind of going anywhere and then on the back is where you can put your laptop again this is very padded much more padded than the little book backpack um, so if you use this for business a lot, that would be great. Or if you're just traveling with your laptop, it's nice, safe, and secure. And then this last section is actually where it extends and it expands. So that is just super, super cool. Um, so if you just need a little bit more room, this thing will also expand for you. Um, this, I believe, this is for like the kind of a power bank. Let me get it close here. For a power bank, the wire will go through there, so you can also have that hooked up. But this thing is, <laughs> she has everything that you could ever need, we'll say that. And it is hefty, like my arm is like, good God, put her down. Um, so she's, she's hefty, she's great quality, especially for the price. It also came with um, two little TSA kind of liquids bags as well. Uh, this bag also comes in a ton of different colors. There's like a blush pink, there's a lavender, we have the, the traditional gray, white, black. Um, there's a gorgeous teal color, um, a light blue color. Yeah, that beautiful green. So a ton of different variety with that backpack as well. And again, fantastic price overall. The next category is in flight. So first up for my in flight, this is something that I saw another influencer had. It is for children and I also featured it in, I think it was my video that's like 10 things to never travel without or something like that. But it is my little snack container. This is by Gobi, and this is the large one. They also have a small one. But what I love about it is you can, one, bring your own snacks um, and not have to buy them when you're in the airport where they're um, so marked up it's crazy. So this little window opens up and you can open it up just to a single section or even two sections total. Um, and then close it when you're done. And then when you click this little button in the middle, it switches your little snack section. So one, this is fantastic for children because if they drop this, their snacks aren't gonna go flying everywhere. But two, it's great for grown women, I guess. Um, so you can load, you know, five or six different types of snacks in there, throw it in your bag, and you've got your little snackle box um, on the plane and not having to worry about if and when they're going to come around with everything. Because again, like I kind of talked about in my other video, is they, they will only serve um, drinks and snacks or meals when it is safe to do so when they hit a certain altitude and you know but if there's crazy turbulence and stuff it's not safe for them to be you know walking around and doing all that so you're going to be left to your own devices well i'm ready 
Which brings me to my next thing. It is making sure that you have your own water bottle on the plane. Again, whether you buy it or I'm gonna show my cute little blingy one here. So this is my cute little blingy water bottle. It also has the little chain here. So I don't know, I've never seen anyone wear something like this crossbody. So I would probably just take this part off, um, but I definitely love that you can get a carabiner hook and clip it to like your backpack, or again, it'll fit in the side of the backpack. Um, this will hold a lot of water. I think this is like the 750 milliliter. And this will also keep your water cold. It is an insulated container, so it helps to keep everything cold, or if you have a hot beverage in there, it'll help to keep that hot as well. So absolutely love this. You, of course, don't have to be as bougie as this if you don't wanna carry around a blinged out water container. This, by all the way, also comes in pink if you, if you are interested in my blingy water bottle. Um, but I'm just saying get one in general, um, whether it's solid or not. Um, you can fill it up at the airport. You're not having to pay for those insanely inflated water bottle price of the water bottle is like probably six or seven dollars at this point and you definitely either way need water on your plane and this is just a cute way to do it the next item i recommend for in flight especially for long flights are compression socks so these ones are specifically for plus size so they obviously have regular sizes as well but i have huge calf muscles <laughs> so i needed some plus size ones and they're obviously pretty stretchy but they really help with the circulation in your legs when you're sitting for hours and hours and hours. So thought that was definitely a must have for my trip to Italy. Um, so pick those up. These actually come with three sets of socks so you can have multiple. So overall, these are a must have. The next item is, so I've got a couple different ones. One I've showed before, so I just wanna preface, preface set that. Um, but this next one is a phone stand. And so this is great. So one, it folds flat, like I just unfolded it as you saw. But this is great to set your phone on. Let me find my phone here. When you're watching um, things on the plane and then also you can turn it that way too. Um, but this helps so you don't have to hold the phone the whole time, especially when it's like a very long flight. Um, this thing is great. Also, if you do any kind of like filming content or anything like that, this is a great little kind of stand to have as well. So this thing is pretty cool. And then again, it just folds down super flat and small. So fantastic for traveling. Um, and the other one is if you need something that's a bit up, like up a bit higher, um, this is my, one of my probably favorite, favorite things. I talk about this every travel video just about. Um, so your phone gets held here. So it'll hold your phone like this and you can also, um, you can also move it that way, this upside down right now. But basically this will clamp on to the tray table. So this will clamp onto like the tray table and so you can just watch your shows, your movies, whatever on your phone without having to crane your neck down the entire time. So just keeps you very ergonomic and comfortable during your flight. So this thing is a must have for me. Also, it's like a little selfie stick as well. So you can utilize it that way. You can also set it on your tray table if you want to like that. Um, so this thing does a whole bunch of different things and this is by Paralogix. So I have the cute little purple one. I also have one in black, so I've got a couple of these. So these are fantastic as well. I am going on no flights without my Apple AirPods. This is my cute little cactus case, but absolutely love these things. They are worth the, t the hype and the cost. Um, the little case charges the AirPods and again, impeccable sound quality, great noise canceling. Love, love, love these. These are the, um, I think the AirPod Pros, I wanna say. 
I don't know. I'll link it down below, whichever one they are. Also, I would travel with my tablet as well that I currently have the iPad M2 or iPad Pro. Yeah, iPad Pro with the M2 processor and all of that. So as you can see, I prefer Apple uh, for most things. So again, those are two fantastic items to have in flight for your entertainment and all of that good stuff. The next category is my favorite one, which is tech. So the next item is absolutely one of my favorites and I've talked about them before. This is my new charger but it is the iWalk iPhone charger. They also make them for Android and whatever those other phones are. Um, but these are fantastic because you simply take your iPhone, you plug this into the bottom, and then she is charging. The other great thing about this is they're this pretty much about the same width, they're slightly larger, but you can be on your phone while it's charging. Again, I have, this is my third one that I've picked up. The um, original one, it just stays in my bag just for everyday use in case my phone dies. But I also have my cute little purple glitter one that I've shown on here before. And then the pink one just came back out finally. I've been waiting for this one to come back for months and I don't know what took so long, but it finally arrived and it was on sale. So I was like, this is my time people this is my time so i picked up another one but then i also thought because i love these so much let's do a giveaway guys so this is going to be the giveaway um, or one of the items in the giveaway so obviously a brand new one that i have not opened for an iphone so that will be in the giveaway and the next thing I'm also adding in there are these two little just TSA approved little baggies for liquids and packing and whatnot. And the last thing that I'm going to include is a brand new one. It hasn't arrived yet. I just ordered it. Um, a brand new little makeup travel bag. So I thought that would be a super fun little giveaway. You guys can try out some of my favorite products. So to enter the giveaway, what you have to do is to make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, comment down below your favorite place that you've ever traveled, and follow me on Instagram. And I will announce the winner on May 15th, 2024. All right, good luck to everyone. Super excited to show you guys and share with you guys some of my favorite travel products as well. So, so the next gadget is also from iWalk. It's a different type of charger. So this is like the MagSafe charger that will clip or uh, stick to the back of your phone. So mine, since it has a pop socket to use this, I have to either switch my case or take it out altogether. The other thing I love about this is it'll show you what percentage is left. So I think that is great. And then it just sticks to the back of your phone. We are charging. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it was charging. You just saw that. And then you can also continue to use your phone, which I absolutely love while this is charging your phone. So this is another great option from iWalk. And again, I've been so impressed with the little plug-in chargers that I decided to try this one out as well. So great options coming from iWalk, something I thought was a great addition to my travel gadgets. The other thing that I do have from iWalk is the charger for the multiple, um, these, these little multiple ones. So this, um, when you're traveling and you have multiple iWalk chargers, you it does have a cord so you have to plug it in but basically you put this put this on there whoops other way put that on there and it'll charge all the devices up to four so since i already have three i mean thought this was a good idea so if you've got more than one i love that you can have a little charging hub for it the next thing i have definitely talked about before as well but it is the shiny uh the apple air tags i think these are phenomenal for tracking your luggage i mean like i said before like you can attach it to your child if they're always running off 
so many different uses for this but absolutely love these for travel especially if you check your bag um, and then also i love these little silicone just like little keychain clips easy to attach to anything so these are fantastic another thing that's great for apple products is this three in one charger this thing is super cool. It will charge your phone, your iWatch, and, and your AirPods all together. So this is, it's not cordless, so you do have to have it plugged in. It comes with the cord, obviously. But you can simply set your phone on one area to charge, your um, AirPods on another, and then this is for the watch. So I love this for traveling, charging three devices in one simple little charger and it folds up really compact and neat absolutely love this thing so cool the next thing that i have for tech is i have a tripod by the same brand that is fantastic but this is kind of a smaller travel friendly version so it's by i think it's a tomb tech autumn tech maybe um and this is the travel tripod so i just got this one but again i've tried out um the larger version of this before and so i know they're i know they're good for it but yeah this is rip off that dumb warning tag okay so this is the little travel tripod it comes with the little remote here to where you can connect that via Bluetooth to your phone and you just click the button and it'll start recording for you, which is fantastic. Okay, so then this part, these are the legs. So these will pop out. And so that's what stabilizes it. And then this is what holds your phone. So come here, iPhone. So this will hold the phone. This gets super, super long. So pretty long for this little tiny device. The So definitely had to have this for traveling as we're going to do quite a bit of filming. And also let me just show you the, the one that I, um, the full size one that I have. And then just watch your fingers because this will pinch you. So when you close it and then it pops back in there. So, I mean, pretty awesome. Love that. And then this other one, I'm glad they changed the shape of it because, because the original, anyway, um, even though it's a fantastic device, there's a little button here on the end and then it pops up. And as you can see, it's already a lot larger than that one is. And this one gets, I mean, it's probably, oh, it's, it gets really, really tall. So this one is great if you have to film on, you don't have anything else to prop the tripod up on. This one's great if it's just on the ground. So again, I use this thing all the time when filming. Super great, really good quality stuff from them. So if you're needing any kind of tripod or travel tripod, definitely check out those. The last thing I have for tech is, it's actually not a tech item like where it's an electronic but it is a little tech bag so the tech bag that i currently have kind of same thing with the toiletry bag i have it's very large so it's great if i'm taking like multiple cameras with me so like i have a GoPro and it has a bunch of extra attachments and batteries and then I have my camera with a bunch of extra batteries and attachments back when I had a drone I sold that because it was I wasn't using it but you know you could put that in there and all the extra batteries and all that jazz so and then of course all the charging cables so there was a lot that I was taking this I wanted to again limit myself and limit what I could bring and so I thought this one was really a great option so it still gives you got you've got two kind of compartments here and you can put like SD cards memory cards in here um, you know got a little pocket there and then here is where it kind of just wrangles all the different cords and whatnot and then it all zips up you know nice and happy here 
and then has like a little wristlet as well but I think a nice size where it'll hold enough but it doesn't let you overpack it so that's what I was going for also love the color of course that is you know the theme of all my stuff here is about that that pinky that pink color and then the mauve as well the next category I've only got a couple items for but it is fashion um, so one of them I'm just going to put a picture of me up wearing it but it is a velour track suit from Invaland. you guys these things first of all live in your uh juicy couture you know 1999 dreams first of all without the glittery butt you know um but these are so incredibly comfortable they are so incredibly soft very very comfortable very good quality great for a very long travel day and if you think for one second i'm not going to roll in this on my flight to italy you got another thing coming because i am uh, <laughs> so fantastic outfit for the plane um, also just a great lounge set in general I have two of these. I have the dark green one. I also have like an electric blue where you will not miss me in the airport if I wear that thing. I'm not going to wear that. I'm probably going to wear the green or I might end up getting the black set as well. But either way, such a great travel outfit and you will just feel, I mean, it looks like you're in pajamas, but that's fine on a, you know, 14, 15 hour flight or whatever it is. The next item that I found on Amazon are these super cute little, very sheer kind of kimonos. And these are just fantastic. One, just to have something to cover up with a little bit, especially if you're going into a religious establishment or something like that, or depending on what country you're in, you, you know, they're more modest than we are here in the US some places. So some just something very, that is very packable and folds up really nice and tiny, very lightweight, but then you can pull out and cover it up. Or even if you needed to cover it over your hair, you can do that as well. So I thought these were fantastic for traveling overall. The next category is miscellaneous. The next item I wanna talk about has to do with hotel safety. And I've seen quite a few other youtubers like uh, recommend these and i do think that there's something that is very important so i did pick up these recently the first thing is the door stop alarm so this thing i don't have batteries in it so it's not going to go off but basically you kind of wedge it under the door with a little with a little bit of give little gap there you have a high focus high medium and low setting honestly I'm gonna set it to high to be honest if you, if you come wiggle my door this thing's going off but at least I won't get murdered in the night okay but anyway um, and then you have your on off switch these take a 9 volt battery which I don't think anyone ever covers so 9 volt battery in there was what you need to make those work but basically if anybody is trying to get in your door not that this is going to stop them by any means it might might give a little resistance but more so it's the alarm aspect that you want it's going to wake you out of a dead sleep it's super loud um, it also hopefully will scare them off to where they stop trying to get into your door it at least makes you aware that someone is trying to get into your hotel so you can take the next step, whatever that may be. The next thing is also something to kind of prevent them from getting in the door as well. And that is this thing. So this will go into the, like where the deadbolt goes into the, the hole that it is secured into basically. So you have two ends here. This one is for a traditional lock. So it has two little things that hook into the door that help brace it. And then this one is like, if you have a kind of a different sized lock, so you've got pretty much dual ended here. And then once that's in the actual door, you place this down in here. There we go like that. And so it hits this, the door is against it like this, and it helps the door to not be able to open. So again, could they bust through this? Probably. Eventually, you know, there's 
I don't think really anything is ever going to stop somebody from getting in if they want to try hard enough. But again, it gives you that time to um, be alert, realize that someone's trying to get in. It also gives you peace of mind. And then you can take whatever your next step may be by calling the police, the hotel, um, or defending yourself. So either way, I'd rather have this and not need it then need it and not have it. So that's how I decided to pick both of those up so we feel secure anywhere we go. The next thing I have is my cute little card wallet. This is RFID blocking, so nobody can scan your information. But I just love how many cards it can hold and your IDs and um, I love the little kind of strap there that keeps everything secure. You also have the little pocket here for some cash or some coins. It clips onto something in your bag if you wanna hook it to something. Um, has a little wristlet, so that's really awesome. These come in a bunch of other colors. I got a neutral one just so it went with all my different bags, but I absolutely love these when I'm going out just to kind of minimize what I have and keep it all in one spot. The last thing I have is really, um, it has to do with like if you're doing a lot of water activities on your trip, but it is a dry bag. So this thing is very thick, kind of like waterproof vinyl. And then you shove all your stuff down in there. So like your phone and anything you don't want to get wet. And then you simply start rolling it. And you want to kind of get some air in there too so that way if it falls in the water it'll float just roll it and then you clip the little clippies together and you can clip this on something too by the way um but this keeps all your stuff dry we used to take these all the time when we would go jet skiing and you just throw them in the front of the jet ski never had any problems with any of the stuff getting water also um, getting water or ruined or anything like that um, again you can clip it to something as well so this is fantastic if you're going out like snorkeling or scuba diving or jet skiing or you can put your phone in here you can put an extra set of clothes in here to keep dry put some snacks in there for the beach all that kind of stuff and don't have to worry about it getting wet also these come in a bunch of colors I think they're all pretty much bright because if it does fall in the water you want to be able to see it so that's why I went for like neon can't miss it green <laughs> so uh, overall these are a fantastic thing to have all right, guys, so that was my travel gadget guide for 2024. I hope you guys try some of this stuff out if you don't already have it. If I missed one of your favorite travel gadgets, comment down below what it is and I can try it out. And to enter the giveaway, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and follow me on Instagram. And again, I will announce the winner on May 15th. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.